please subscribe, like, and share if you like the content. I will be uploading uh, more videos on the 1025R on any maintenance and repairs. All right, today I'm going to uh, grease, and we're going to grease every fitting on the tractor. Now, these fittings on this bucket arm should be greased almost every time you use it. Every other time you're going to take it out. So you grease these a lot. The one on the tractor itself, we'll get to that, and also the lawn mower deck. Um, you know, you don't grease them as often, but it is good routine to do those, and we're going to do them all. Um, one thing I recommend, makes it real easy, is I got the lock and lube from Green Parts Store. Real easy, makes life a lot much easier to do it's a quick connect compared to your others but you can use anything um, I also have an actual compressor grease gun with air and then that is the lock and lube real easy you squeeze it put it on pop it so it's a real easy thing so we're gonna go ahead and grease this at this point is, is the tractor loader um, and I'll show you. Make it real simple is to put this in there. and easy that is with the lock and lube makes it much easier um, and also with the, the compressor um, I know it got loud but that's it um, real quick one two three four five six on this side there'll be six on the other side I'll repeat um, so it's something you want to do a lot on the loader and you just you know basically you keep I'll show you over here on one if it shows and what you're going to do is you just keep squeezing the grease and you'll see it start pushing out when you look in there so as you're doing it you'll start seeing the old grease push out and the new grease will start seeping also and then you know it's full so it's good to do it on the loader arm a lot if you're going to use your loader arm a lot and then I'm going to repeat on the other side and then we'll get to the tractor itself. All right, so the first joint we're gonna do underneath the tractor is we're gonna do this boot, which is the front four wheel drive U-joint. Now I've got a thumb latch to take the strap off, but yet some of the older machines may not. You may need a screwdriver or a socket. So you loosen that up, you pull the boot, and I've got front wheels up off the ground, okay, up on jack stands. And then I'm going to turn the wheels until I see the joint. And there it is right there, okay? So now that I have it lined up, I'm going to get the grease gun and go ahead and grease this first front U joint. Now, again, it's nice because I got the lock and lube um, very 
easy. Makes it much easier. It's a one hand operation. You just put it on there. Okay, I got a compressor air. So you just keep doing it till the grease oozes out around it, outside. Front four wheel drive U joint, and we'll do the all right. So, you can see how the grease oozes out, then you know it's full. So, you start seeing it coming out. All right, and now we're going to slide the boot back over. Okay, the protective boot, push that on. And again, you may have to use a tool. Mine has a thumb latch, so you go ahead and tighten down the hose strap here make it snug not over tight okay and that's the boot protector so now we'll go ahead and do the back now I find it easier is I put the front up on jack stands and I put the rear on jack stands so all the tires are off the ground this way I can turn the tires to get to the U joints makes it easier so that you can move the tractor around to do it but I think it's easier just to put up on jack stands all right so we did that front one now you're gonna follow that same drive shaft okay and that same drive shaft you're gonna end up also with another fitting that's gonna be on the back side here and I'm gonna go ahead and uh, hook my grease gun up and grease that joint and I'm not gonna sit there and show every time I grease it I'm just more or less showing locations and how to get to them so I'm gonna go ahead and grease this one all right so now the next ones we're gonna do is on the actual mid PTL so you got the rear you got in the mid and then we'll get over to here what you want to do on these ones is actually lower your PTO is all the way down so lower the PTO down so it drops because it's they're tough to get and one tip when you're going to grease the fittings on your mid PTO underneath put your lever to the rear this way now you'll be able to spin it so you want your lever to rear PTO and this way when you're down here because you got that fitting up there you got to fit in here and you got to fit in here so when it's in the rear you can spin it if you don't put the lever to the rear PTO you will not be able to spin this so that's one point that you definitely want to do so you can turn it for each fitting okay so now the only two I got left is the front main shaft which is that hole up front and the rear U joint back there. Now make sure this way you'll have to turn the engine and you can do it right here. Okay. And this way you're gonna line up. You gotta get in that hole right there. So you're gonna turn so you get that fit in to line up inside that hole. So we gotta spin the wheels and the engine to get that U-joint to line up. All right, and then the last ones, after we just did seven underneath the tractor and six on each side of the bucket, if you do have a mid PTO with a mower blade, then you actually got one here, one here, and one on this side. So we're going to go ahead and grease those fittings too, and that would be it for all the fittings for everything. Um, I'm going to do a video. I got the load and go. That's with the yellow brackets on there. Uh, the load and goes, I do recommend them. I will do a video on those at some point. Just, they're great.
for uh, dusting this off, cleaning it, doing any maintenance to it. So I'm going to grease those fittings on the mower deck, and then that'll be it for all the grease fittings.